trying to get right down to business here. Did you know it is unlawful to wear a Dead Kennedy shirt um, after high school? I was aware of that, yes. Are you aware? It's probably unlawful to wear any band shirt. I didn't want to say anything every time you've done it. Yeah. I've been breaking the law according. I'll get to the, and I'll get to the comments specifically. Um, but so in that case, I did not wear a dead Kennedy shirt. I wore, if it's okay with you, sir, a DEFCON 1 shirt. Is that okay? Is that okay with you, sir? You know who you are. Um, yes. Oh, you never heard of them? Oh, well, that's, well, you're obviously not very switched on. You don't, you don't know shit about music. Yeah. The great band DEFCON 1. You have no idea who they are. Am I, but let, comment down below. Am I okay to wear this after high school? DEFCON 1. Let me know. That's okay. And let me know any other suggestions about our wear, our attire that you might have, please. I'm wearing a tomb mold shirt. Is that okay? Is it okay to wear a tomb mold shirt, sir? Okay, let me know. Okay. What do you think? Yes. That's, that's okay, right? To wear a tomb mold shirt? Um, I'd be surprised if that gentleman tomb mold wasn't is around. familiar with tomb mold. Tomb mold wasn't around when I was in high school. No. They weren't even around. So I didn't have the option to wear this in high school. They were okay. around when she was in high school. Either. You didn't discriminate against me? Yeah. All right. By the way, everyone, this is my wife. It's not some weird like girl that is in my basement with me it's she's married to me she has no choice but to be no, here no i'm your mom and you live in my basement it's my mom. <laughs> all right mom hey, i'm gonna take out the garbage all right i'll do it uh yeah so like you know but keep up the bad comments i am so happy that we are getting any kind of comments at all you know because they could just because it's worse if you just get no comments like if no one gave you comments at all that'd be the worst that would be like really just you know are people watching us? Do people like us? People hate us. People hate us. That's fine. I'm okay with I'm okay with that. So, um, but as I predicted last week when we made the video um, regarding Michael Graves, it was bait for all of you, as usual, and you all took it. And I was like, we're gonna get some shit over this Michael Graves because there's a lot of based motherfuckers that watch our show, which is fine. I mean, if anyone watches our show, if you're a bunch of based guys, that's fine. I can't choose, you can't choose your audience, you know, whether you're a musician or anybody, can't choose your audience. So we're gonna um, give you guys some credit today. We're gonna, since you guys interact with us, I'm gonna interact with all of you, okay? So here we go. Um, got some call outs here. Uh, from Random Dude, Random Dude, you are soft. This um, is true. I am soft, it is true. She knows. You see me naked. I'm soft. Okay. Um, I will work on it. I will correct this, comrade. Okay. I, I am not. I am soft. You know, it must be corrected. So, uh, yes, you're right. You know, I'm soft. Um, someone by the name of Chalik Lizzie. Uh, God bless Michael Graves. God bless you. No, God bless you. Okay. God bless each of us. God bless each of us. God and God bless everyone. Mr. Scrooge, okay? Yeah. Um, this And this comment got deleted, not by me. And by the way, I'm going to make it very clear to everyone, I do not delete comments ever, no matter how vile or racist or homophobic that I will never, ever delete your comment. I think YouTube deletes them if they have if there's a bad word in there, okay? So uh, someone called Bestial Black Metal. Bad Maybe he regretted his comment. Maybe? He was like, I was wrong. Like, I'm sorry. You guys are great. No, no don't say that. That was an overreaction. Yeah, I, I got mad. I had a bad day at work. I came home. I was angry. I had a couple of drinks, and I wrote something I regretted, and it might have got me fired from my job in this society, which I don't think you should be for writing the words you did, but they might do it. I don't. Anyway, so if, if YouTube did delete you, I'm sorry. Okay, but it was still in my my um indicate in my uh whatever they're called the uh, notifications. Notifications. Yes, they were still it was still it's still up there, but it's not it's no longer in the comment section of the video. Um, this is for the Apsu video, and I'm glad you commented that because it really wasn't that much um, backlash on the Apsu video we did. Not enough backlash, as I hoped. Um, fucking stupid clowns. Absu rules. Absu, not Apsu. Absu rules. So maybe he doesn't like Get Apsu. with the program, guys. Well, maybe he hates Apsu. Names changed. Maybe he's like, I don't like them anymore. But Prescriptor is the man. He's the man, yes. And um, that fucking trans guitarist is a fucking pussy um, gay F-word son of a bitch and that that's probably why you got the guy youtube if you write that on youtube you probably get I mean, youtube can picks that one up yeah the thing picks it up i didn't delete you for writing that um there is no place for a fucking f gay word in the and it cuts off that's but thank you mr Be bestial bestial maybe you spelled bestial wrong you like fucking animals that's fine um 
It could mean like a beast. Beast. Bestial. You know? Bestial. Bestiality is fucking the fucking bestial. animal. But bestial just means like a beast. Fuck like a beast. It's okay. your vocab. I want to know from this guy, like, mm. if you're the type of person who would say this about a trans person, like, what about prescriptor? Do you find particularly manly? He wants to be fucked. <laughs> makes in the you ass. feel comfortable. He wants to be fucked by prescriptor. Oh, you. But like, if if this guy is gay, what, why would you want that? Well, it, he would be fine with. Like, why would he be throwing this out there? I'm just saying, like, if you look on any like uh, interview with prescriptor, like half the comments below are calling him gay. <laughs> and there's no problem with that. I don't he's, care if it's he's okay gay or not. That he's gay. I'm just saying he's not like the 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 chattiest guy. <laughs> I want to he's not him. a chad he's the opposite Listen, of a chad I'm soft but I want to put him in a garbage can so, I, my soft ass wants to pick him up and put him in a garbage can like the nerd he is so it's hard for me to understand people who would be totally behind him firing someone for being trans because they don't like trans people but then not caring about this very campy ass he's prescriptor cringy. fellow he's, he's just cringy he's a cringy person um, yeah I want to bully him I want to bully him in high school you know Put him in garbage. Put him in a locker. Shove him in a locker. Maybe I never did those things, but now I could. I could do it to well, him. Well, I would have been out there defending you, him from you, up no, until right. this happened. No, I'm going to so. put him in the locker. I never did that to people. Be but like, no, don't hurt him. I could probably do that. To, I'm not a. T- I'm a soft guy, as you all point out. But I could probably do it to him. He looks pretty small. Yeah, I could do that to him. He'd be scared of me. Not too many people are scared uh, of me. He would cast a spell on you, though. Oh, I, I have spell. I have. Oh, on Skyrim, I have the robe. <laughs> no, the, he would the cast spell a real robe. spell on you. Yeah, but no, but I, you know, but I have a real robe of, <laughs> of, of, of magic you do resistance. You not have a real. <laughs> I do. It's real. Okay, it's real as anything. Listen. Okay, so. Yeah. Uh, what do we got next? Parallel realm. This also got deleted, and and I, like I said, and I don't know why this got deleted. Um, two losers, and this is where we. You changed Mr. Parallel Realm. You changed our intro. Thank you. No one has the power. You don't know what kind of power you have to be able to do that. You are special, sir. Parallel Realm. Two losers in their mom's basement calling Graves a loser. Oh, yes. Yes, we are. Uh, Interesting. At least he fucking tried. Yeah, okay. I guess he did. You know, okay. Okay, you're right. I'm, I'm making fun of a guy. That you know didn't do the status quo thing. He didn't get. Well, he probably has to do the status quo thing now to live. I mean, yeah, he tried. He got in. A, he got in a big band, a, a famous band. He got to sing for them. His albums were not bad. I'll, I'll admit that. I, and I know all of you hate those albums, uh, famous monsters, and, and wherever the the other fucking one was. Um, and I know you all hate those albums. You you like Michael Graves because he's a proud boy and he represents your stupid fucked up like way of life your, your stupid fucked up philosophy that, you don't like those albums I know you people don't like his music I know you don't you know but he's your little hero so You're that's just fine taking whatever icon they can get okay yeah and, and he's your guy and yeah that's a real one to look you know to, to really put on a pedestal but yeah at least so, let's continue at least you fucking tried what the fuck have you done I've done this show and I've got uh, how many subscribers have we got 130 is it no it's not even that many <laughs> Well, don't, don't count. Well, how many do you have, sir? Um, yeah, um, liberal cucks. Yes. Oh, by the way, we're liberal cucks. Yeah, I, yeah, that's, that hurts. That it hurts the heart. Uh, so yeah, but your comment got deleted, but it still it was in our notification. I wonder why. I don't know. You didn't write anything bad. You're the best comment ever. Actually, you're our best comment. I wish we were in my mama's basement. Yes. Oh yes. By the way, we're not. You know, we're upstairs. Actually, we're up on this second floor. It's kind of hot up here. This is um our office room yes we have we have a house um together all right let's not i'm not gonna, tell where, not. I'm not gonna dox ourselves i'm just telling we're not living in our mom's basement and um wouldn't that be nice though if she like bought us like pop tarts and shit yeah like, well we'd have to take out the garbage though like for the you do treat. that anyway i do well yeah i have to do, take out the garbage when you grow up you have to take out the you're a kid you're good i gotta take it when you grow up you have to take out the garbage unless you have a kid to do it for you we don't have a kid to do it for us so I take out the garbage, you know, every uh, whatever day it is, and uh, yeah, I take care of this house. And but yeah, we're not in the basement; we're on the second floor. It's kind of hot up here. The basement is also really hot, though. I have a music room down in the basement. And um, all right, yeah. we'll do the house tour another day. No, I'm not gonna do the house tour. Like I'm not showing them the house. <laughs> they'll, they'll like figure it out. These nerds will like zero in with the GPS coordinates. Do not even say those words. What? All right. What? what? Let's keep going. What words? What words? Let's keep going. What words are you saying? 
I said these nerds. Don't say that idea. Oh, they might think of it. No, they probably already thought of it. They probably know already. Um, no, they, no, they're gonna hate us more if we do that. They have, like I don't think they hate us that much. Like you have to be like. All right. Are there any other comments? Uh, yeah, there. Are. Uh, MJKG is that is that Michael Graves is that yes that's Michael definitely Graves? Michael Graves uh, Michael Graves have you contacted us I'm I'm honored that if you, I doubt it though it's probably just some guy because he has a Misfits logo which would be wrong because Michael Graves doesn't deserve to have a Misfits logo you're not in the Misfits you know so you haven't been in the Misfits in twenty years so uh, yeah I don't know what to tell you um, why do you talk about something you know nothing about but I do know about it I know something I know as much as the next guy about it you're not in the Misfits anymore. Um, you know, you kind of still play up that thing. I don't blame you. You're, you know, I was I was a star football player in high school, you know, and you're still living there. Okay, fine. Uh, but yeah, you come across some news story and make some inaccurate, unfunny. Uh, there's been multiple uh, comments on my unfunny jokes. Am I not funny, everyone? Am I not funny? Am I? Not? I, I think you're all right. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, that's, you know, um, that's what Chevy Chase says to people. Like he's like, you're just all right. You know, when it's an insult, usually when he's yelling at some young comedian, he's like, you're just all right. Well, you know, I'm just all right. You're just all right. I'm just all it's right. It's true. I'm just all right. I wasn't, I wasn't raised to be a comedian. I guess I add a little bit of laughiness to this thing, just naturally. I'm not, I didn't write these jokes. I don't, have, I don't have Jackie the Joke Man here to write me jokes or anything. Um, I kind of just make them up as I go along. I, I think I'm kind of a little bit jovial, right? I mean, you know, I keep the thing, you know, I'm not funny, though. Okay. But I'm not funny. And yeah, maybe that's Michael Graves. You're Michael Graves. And comment down below. M J K G. Comment down below if you are really. Because I, 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 you know, maybe he's Michael Graves. Um, Jimmy Z. Uh, he's a loser. That you're talking about someone who who knows someone that that you that he he's a loser that you're talking about and no one knows who you are. Well, yeah. Uh, but what does that mean? What is that? Is that some like like white power thing? I don't know what that is. Have you seen that before? No. Okay. I don't know what that is. What is don't it? Google it. No. What is Uhuru? What is Uhuru? What is Uhuru? Is that some weird thing that you guys... I, I feel like I've heard that before. It's a comment down below. What is that? Tell me what that is. I don't know what that is. I've seen, I feel like I've seen that before and it means something. It's a kind of war cry or something. I could be completely wrong. I could be talking out of my ass, but that's my theory. Um... This guy also says, uh, uh, this guy made another comment. Jimmy Z, our favorite, Jimmy Z, also said, Hey, it's Jimmy Z. It's Jimmy Z. And Jimmy Z says, if you're uh, out of high school uh, and if you wear a Dead Kennedy shirt, um, you're not fit to criticize anyone. So I stopped wearing and I wore a Defcon 1 shirt. Who you should burn. Dead Kennedy's fucking babies. Yeah, I don't know anyone who wore Dead Kennedy shirts in high school. Um, no one was cool enough. But yeah. So anyway, yeah. So I stopped wearing the Dead Kennedy because they're for high school kids. Uh, they're completely catering to high school kids. Uh, yeah, so I wore my DEFCON 1 shirt. So find out who that is and see if and so let me know if DEFCON 1 is okay to wear at my old age. And when... Yes, everyone look up DEFCON 1. Mm -hmm. DEFCON 1. Pretty underground, but very vital. Yeah, yeah pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal, man. Uh, yeah, so you, yeah, let me know. You think Michael Graves is important to the Jersey scene? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're... Yeah, uh, they are. Is... Not where they are. Defcon One is the Wait. real shit, okay? Yeah, oh yeah, the real yeah. shit. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, you know, I I knew Michael Graves would hit hard because it's home. You know, maybe well, who knows if these commenters are from New Jersey? I don't know where they're from. They could be from all around the world. Oh, we got one more. Eight coins. Why? And this guy commented to Jimmy Z. I don't know if he's really commenting towards, but he commented under Jimmy Z. Why most of the things, um, the band said in their lyrics still apply to what band? You mean the Misfits? Um. Through that video, this video, I guess, that video is awful no matter what political views you have. Stretching a paragraph to 10, yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, okay, that's what we do. That's what everyone does. I take a paragraph and I stretch it 10 minutes if I'm lucky. If I'm lucky, if I can get 10 minutes out of a stupid paragraph, we had a good day. Well, you had that uh, anecdote what? about, uh, what's his name in there? Who's that? Uh, Keith Emerson. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, 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 I told a personal story where listen I tell you stories like your little my, my little children featured okay? Michael Graves in yeah. a very uh, ancillary capacity yeah Michael Graves was not the focus of that story I was there I saw that Michael Graves was on the list I was like oh yeah he's here I was there to see Keith Emerson naturally like everyone was you know and Steve Guttenberg 
um, yeah, why would I want to see Michael Graves? I feel like he's pretty common. You know, Rudy Sarzo was there. Maria Nasertis was there as well. And a number of other people. All right. I don't want to hear the story again. I'm not going to tell it again. But I was specifically, I went back specifically that day and paid to get in. The stupid price, I was like $10 to get into this fucking thing. And you pay another $40 to get an autograph from, 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 you know, Keith Emerson, you know, who was, you know, very grateful to have the autograph. You know, it's kind of trolling him or playing with him. All right. You told the story last time. Let's yeah. move on. But he's more important than Michael Graves. He did a lot more for music than Michael Graves. Sorry. Okay, so thank you all for you all for coming. Keep coming and download. Keep with the bad stuff. Keep with the hate. Keep with the vitriol, the venom, all that shit. Keep it up because um, it keeps us alive. If you guys all wrote good comments, I, I would be sad. I would feel suspicious. I would be paranoid. I don't I don't handle success well. So I would be like, what's, why are they giving us good comments? I don't deserve them. I do nothing good at this show. My jokes aren't funny. You know? But honestly, I think these comments are too good to be true. And uh, I have a feeling our friends are like writing them, but they're not real. Do you, you ever feel that way? Like they're not just people fucking with us. Like they're not real. Like it would it would break my heart to find out my friends were just doing like these. Like if Richard wrote, written yeah, every him comment. he got he got like a bunch of friends of his and like yeah let's just fuck with them. You know I'd, I'd feel I'd be really let down that it was just like my friends the whole time. I'd be really let down like that you aren't real people that really hate me. So yeah, anyway, if you are real, or if you're, if you're fake, just keep making me believe that people care about me. Thank you. That's my rant for today. Thank you very much.